what's well, today? It's Monday. And this morning we're going to Hollywood Studios. Extra it is hours. Yeah, we we bought the Toy Story Early Morning Magic package, which I'm gonna review. I'm gonna tell you guys all about and I'm so excited. But we got here super early. Our reservation is for 7.30 and we're here at 6.30. Well 6.36. Um but there's about less than 10 cars in the parking lot. So we chose to just drive today because we're a pass holder so we get free parking. And you can park pretty close to the entrance, fairly close at Hollywood Studios. So we're just parking here and we're about as close as you can get because it's 6.36 in the morning. But it's very cold, it's in the 30s. So we're gonna stay in the car until seven and hope that they'll let us in a little bit early. But I'm so, so excited to do this Toy Story land and check it out before everybody gets here. So we'll see you when we're walking into Toy Story Land. So it is freezing, but just a tip for this Toy Story Land. It doesn't, Toy Story Land doesn't open until 7.30, but you can come into the ABC commissary and get your breakfast. So if it's really cold or if you're just gonna get here early and you'll be back here, you can go ahead and eat your breakfast. So we're gonna head to the buffet and Jeff and Reese went for the hot breakfast, which is back here. Hold on just a second, Reese. So there's a hot breakfast part. Here's the menu for the hot breakfast. You don't want an egg and bread? What do you want? Just the buffet stuff? This is the hot breakfast that you can go up and there's a buffet and I'll show you that in just a minute. So this is the buffet. Lots of pastries. There's fruit. A little yogurt bar. And then lots of drinks. There's cereal, coffee, juices, milk, hot tea, and cool water. What's this, Jeff? The charcuterie this is the plate? plate. And what's this? Eggs and avocado toast. Eggs and avocado toast. That looks good. And this is the chicken and donuts. Chicken and donuts. You get chicken and looks donuts. Looks like a tater tot. So this is the stuff that we got from the buffet, which I'll show you. Just some pastries and fruit, and they had yogurt up there, and hot tea and coffee. What do you think about these pastries so far? They're really good, aren't they? So, I don't want to forget to point out that my biggest tip so far, and all we've done is walked in. What time is it, Jeff? What time is it? 7.09. All right, so we got here about 6.30, a little after 6.30. And if you're hesitant about coming to the park an hour early, don't be hesitant. Go in and come in. They'll, let, they'll give you a blue wristband. And go ahead and let you walk back to the agency commissary for breakfast. And I think you can come in this whole time until 10.30. Yep, there's the blue wristband. So you can come in here and get food off the buffets during this whole time. So if you want to go ahead and come in and eat before the park, or before the Toy Story Land opens, I just wanted to point out, go ahead and come in here and get here early because it's really starting to get crowded. So and this breakfast is very good. I got a joke for you. Want to know why Buzz is so relaxed lately? He says it's because he had a light year. A light year! It's a play on his last name. Oh, come on! How come people laugh when Potato Head tells jokes? But when I try, people just stare at me. You don't see Buzz Lightyear? Sorry.
7.30, right when it opens. We've already met Buzz. It's like 7.35. You can see there's a five minute wait. I thought the park was not open. The park isn't open. What? Look, there's Woody and Jesse. And look at the big footprint, guys. It's Andy's footprint. You see down there? We're toys in here. Who's Andy? <laughs> Who's Andy? Andy's the boy that had the Toy Story toys. Look at Woody and Jesse. I know. We'll meet him after. So trying that again, we were walking in on the exit, <laughs> so yeah, big giant sign that says Toy Story Mania that we completely missed. So, so here we go, so this is the entrance to Toy Story Mania. So we've been here for 45 minutes and we've done um, Slinky Dog Dash twice and we've done, and we walked right on to um, Aliens Rolling Saucers. Now we're going to Toy Story Mania. Yep. And it's still really cold, yeah. but it's alright, it's warming up. <laughs> Sun is out. Awesome. We're going back to do Slinky Dog Dash as many times as we can until the park Please. opens. <laughs> What's your favorite thing in Toy Story Land? You know. Tell me. You know. Slinky uh, Dog Dash. It's the, it's the, the concrete of the water. So the exit that we walked in earlier, <laughs> this is where we're walking now. The right way. Thank goodness as we were walking in the long exit that somebody stopped and said, you know this is the exit. <laughs> So, don't make that mistake. <laughs> the entrance is very obvious as you saw earlier in the clip. I don't want to. I'm going to go to the You can edit that out. I need it. As we're walking in, Slinky Dog is to the right. That's where we're going now. And there's um, Alien Swirling Saucers. Yeah, especially at the end, right? We did second and we just walked right onto it. And now we're going back to Slinky Dog Dash. I'll show you guys the wait time. It's probably about 8.30. So the park opens in about 30 minutes. So, so far we've so far we've even either just walked right on or waited about 10 minutes. So yeah, 10 minutes. Yeah, this is like half the wait. This is like a fourth of the wait it was when we first got here. So we're practically like walking on to Slinky Duck. So we're going to do this as many times as we can until the weight starts going up. Alright, so we're coming out of the exit of Slinky Dog. 
rope drop has happened and this is the line. Just wanted to show you guys. So we got to ride it four times. So I just wanted to give you guys a quick synopsis of our experience with Toy Story Early Morning Magic Hours. I think that this is worth every penny. In fact, I would do it again in a heartbeat. It, my biggest tip, like I said before, is get there early. We arrived at about 6.35. The reservation wasn't until 7.30. We went ahead and went on in and got in the warm ABC commissary, had our breakfast. It was a delicious breakfast. Get one hot option and then you can get as much as you want from the buffet. So just to give you a quick rundown of everything that we got to do, we ate our breakfast. At 7.30 we walked right over to Toy Story Land. We met Buzz. We got to ride Slinky Dog Dash a total of four times. We rode the other two rides. We just walked right on and got to ride them once. And we did skip miss, uh, meeting Woody and Jesse because the girls wanted to take more time to ride the rides. So we didn't meet all the characters, but we did get to meet Buzz. And I love it. It was great getting off a ride. And you know when your kids, you get off a really fun ride and they say, Mom, we want to ride it again. And you know you're not about to go wait three hours in line to go get on another ride. But with Slinky Dog, which Reese just was like, well, I want to ride it again. It was so fun to just go run back in the line and get right on it and get to ride it over and over again. And it, it was just such a great experience. It was so much fun. I will say that my only thing that kind of annoyed me a bit about the experience is the park is supposed to open at 9 o'clock. And you would think that on days where someone is paying extra for a ticket to have the early morning magic hours and to ride these rides over and over again, that they would not do an early rope drop. But that morning they did at about 8.50, which maybe that's typical for, for Hollywood Studios, but I would have hoped that they would have waited to officially open the park until right at 9 o'clock and give us that extra time in the park because we could have easily ridden Slinky Dog at least one more time. But at 8.50, as you can see by this picture, the when we walked off of Slinky Dog for the last time, the wait had immediately gone up to 120 minutes as soon as the park opened. So that's my only downside to it. Other than that, like I said, it was a great experience. I would do it again in a heartbeat and probably will do it again. But if you guys have any other questions, let me know down in the comments below. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. I have tons of new videos coming out. I've got reviews of the resorts, reviews of different restaurants, tons of other ones that you don't want to miss. So again, thanks for watching and you guys have a great rest of the day.